Sometimes in life, your stories, your experiences, and your journeys are the things that are helping you to become you. You actually need every experience for your personal progress. You need your life experiences to help mold you into you. So imagine yourself down at the bottom of a mountain. As you approach this mountain, think about what your options are. Option one, you can turn around and run away from the mountain. But when you return, the mountain will still be there. It still will be waiting for you, wondering where you have gone. But definitely still there, still waiting for your return. Option two, some people approach the mountain and simply stand at the mountain's feet, staring at it. Complaining about it being a mountain, upset that it is there. Mountain, why are you here? Mountain, why today? Mountain, why me? This does nothing to the mountain because the mountain is still there. Option three, you can try to go around the mountain, attempting to avoid it, but this can be dangerous. Plus, when you try to go around the mountain, you will waste too much time and may get lost. Option four, you can just climb up the mountain. Because when you climb up the mountain, your body naturally becomes stronger. Your mind naturally becomes stronger. You naturally become stronger. We cannot fight that. We cannot tell our bodies not to become stronger when it is doing exercise. It will become stronger no matter what. Yes, we will encounter pain. Yes, we will get tired. Yes, our journey up the mountain will be difficult. But when you reach the top of the mountain, you will become stronger naturally. Understand that the mountain represents the obstacles in your life. The mountain represents every bad thing that you encounter in life. So when you experience these bad things, get to climbing. Don't run away. Don't stare. Don't avoid. Get to climbing. And once you get to the top of the mountain, stop. You must make sure that you look back. Look back at what you have just overcame. Look at all of what you have just climbed. Many of you suffer from low self-esteem because you have climbed so many mountains in life. But once you get to the top, you just hurry up and climb down. But this time, stop. Look back. Give yourself a pat on the back. Show gratitude. Good job, self. Feel good and reflect. Don't forget to keep moving because you are not done yet. You still have to get down the mountain and many times the last step is the hardest. Many of you are in your last step and it's hard to finish. A lot of times it's hard to finish, so you must push hard to finish the mountain. When you finally reach the other side and your feet finally hit the bottom, you're tired and you're breathing hard, can't stand, can't catch a breath, you feel accomplished. Guess what's waiting for you? Another mountain. It can be bigger, it can be smaller, but it's a guarantee that another mountain is waiting for you. And this is the story of life. You must understand that when you go through stuff, don't ask the question, why me? You must say, why not? Because once you ascend the mountain, once you climb your mountain, you will get stronger naturally. And there's nothing that you can do about it. So get stronger. You must learn to expect mountains. Because if you expect them, they won't shock you when you encounter them and you will know exactly what to do when you're at the bottom of one.